Hello everyone. In the previous lectures, we have learnt about what is artificial intelligence, machine learning, how to design a machine learning system, how to define a machine learning problem, what are the ingredients of machine learning, namely tasks, models and features, the classification of machine learning tasks and the classification of machine learning models. We have seen that machine learning models can be classified into three types geometric models, probabilistic models and logical models. We have already discussed about geometric models and probabilistic models in the previous lectures. Today we are going to discuss about the logical models and we are also going to see another way of categorizing the machine learning models namely grouping models and grading models. Myself Dr. G. N. V. G. Sirisha, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering in SRKR Engineering College, Bhimavaram. The objectives of today's lecture are, we are going to discuss about what are logical models, two types of logical models, namely tree models and rule models. We are also going to learn about the another way of classifying logical models called grouping models and grading models. Instances in our data set can be easily organized in a tree structure called a feature tree. Features are used to iteratively partition the instance space. The leaves of the tree therefore correspond to rectangular areas in the instance space. These are also called as hyperrectangles. Depending upon the task we are solving, we can label the leaves of the tree with the class names or probability values or real values. Feature trees whose leaves are labeled with class names are commonly called as decision trees. So this is an example for feature tree. The given instances in the data set are partitioned based on two features called free iPod and lottery. The total number of instances in the data set are 100. So when we find the term free iPod is equal to 1, all those instances go into the right leaf. And the instances which does not contain the word free iPod go into the left, left branch. Again, among those instances where we do not find the word free iPod, we look for whether there is the word lottery or not. If the word lottery is present, they go to the, the middle leaf. If the word lottery is not present, they will go to the leftmost leaf. So you can see in this feature tree, we have three leaves. In the leftmost leaf, 60 instances belong to the leftmost leaf. Among them, 20 belong to the class palm, 40 belong to the class hem. In the middle, 10 belong to class palm, 5 belong to class hem. In the rightmost leaf, 20 belong to the class palm and 5 belong to the class hem. So, in this uh, spam email detection data set, this feature tree has uh, divided all the instances into three groups. The logical models constructed in the form of rule models. We can create rules from the feature tree. How we can generate the rules? We can generate a rule corresponding to every branch of the feature tree. For example, if you look at the feature tree that we have discussed earlier, if free iPod is equal to 1, in this leaf you can see the majority of the instances belong to the class palm. So, if free iPod is equal to 1, then class is given as a spam. In the second branch, else if, if a free iPod is not uh, present in the instance, then we will check whether the lottery is present or not. If lottery is present, we will go to the middle leaf. Again, the majority class here is palm. So, in this else if, if free iPod is 0 and lottery is 1, then class is palm. Or else, the class to which the email belongs is ham. This type of rules are called nested rules. We can also create rule models using unnested rules. So this is these three rules correspond to the unnested rules that uh, that are generated from the feature tree that we have discussed earlier. 
Sometimes rules may overlap. For example, if lottery is equal to 1, then class is equal to spam. If Peter is equal to 1, then class is equal to ham. Suppose if an email contains both the words lottery and Peter, then it is ambiguous. We cannot decide whether the email belongs to the class spam or ham. The rules such as these are both inconsistent and incomplete. Be that is, if an email does not contain both the words lottery and Peter, we cannot decide whether the email is spam or ham. In such cases, we create a default rule which assigns the email to the majority class in the dataset. Tree models. Tree models work in a top-down fashion. The first task is to find a good feature to split on at the top of the tree. The aim here is to find splits that result in improved purity of the nodes on the next level. Where the purity of the node refers to the degree in which the training examples belonging to that node are of the same class. Once the algorithm has found such a feature, the training set is partitioned into subsets. One for each node resulting from the split. For each of these subsets, we again find a good feature to split on and so on. An algorithm that works by repeatedly splitting a problem into small sub-problems is what computer scientists call a divide and conquer algorithm. We stop splitting a node when all training examples belonging to that node are of the same class. Most true learning algorithms also work in top-down fashion. We learn a single rule by repeatedly adding conditions to the rule until the rule only covers examples of a single class. We then remove the covered examples of the class and repeat the process. This is sometimes called separate and conquer approach. Advantages of logical models An interesting aspect of logical models which sets them aside from most geometric and probabilistic models is that they can to some extent provide explanation for their predictions. For example, a prediction assigned by a decision tree could be explained by reading of the conditions that led to the prediction from root to leaf. The model itself can also be easily interpreted by the humans, which is why they are sometimes called declarative. Grouping and grading model the second way of classifying models is into grouping and grading models. The key difference between grouping and grading models is how they handle the instance space. Grouping models do this by breaking the instance space into groups or segments, the number of which is determined at the training time. One could say that grouping models have a fixed and finite resolution and cannot distinguish between individual instances beyond this resolution. What grouping models do at this finest resolution is often something very simple, such as assigning the majority class to all the instances that fall into that segment. The main emphasis of training a grouping model is then on determining the right segments so that we can get away with this very simple labeling at the local segment level. Grading model Grading models, on the other hand, do not employ such a notion of a segment. Rather than applying very simple local models, they form a one global model over the instance space. Consequently, grading models are able to distinguish between arbitrary instances, no matter how similar they are. Their resolution is, in theory, infinite, particularly when working in the Cartesian instance space. Support vector machines and other geometric classifiers are examples of grading models. They work in the Cartesian instance space and they are capable of representing and exploiting the minutest differences between the instances. Tree models are a good example for grouping models. They work by repeatedly splitting the instance space into smaller subsets. Because trees are usually of limited depth and don't contain all the available features, the subsets of leaves of the tree partition the instance space with some finite resolution. Instances filtered into the same leaf of the tree are treated the same, regardless of any features not in the tree that might be able to distinguish, distinguish them. 
grouping models versus grading models there is no clear distinction between grouping and grading models some models exhibit both the features for example linear classifiers which are a prime example for grading model exhibit both grouping and grading model features similarly regression trees also combine both grouping and grading model features models classification can also be seen in the form of this diagram so the logical models are shown to the rightmost side of this diagram the geometric models are shown to the topmost side and the probabilistic models are shown to the bottom side of this diagram similarly the when we look at the other categorization grading models are shown to the left side of this diagram and the grouping models are shown to the right side the model classification also can be shown in the form of this decision tree which shows whether a model is grouping model or grading model similarly whether it comes under geometric model logical model or probabilistic model and whether a model is used to solve a supervised learning task or an unsupervised learning task so in this lecture we have seen what are logical models logical models are the models which are easily interpretable and which are represented in the form of logical expressions we have seen two examples for logical models namely rule models and tree models we have also seen the second way of categorizing the models that is grouping models and grading models thank you